Hey y'all, North Star Knife Reviews. Got a little fixed blade Friday for you here. And we're going to take a look at a very much a budget blade. This is from HX Outdoors. And uh, you know, no doubt that this knife is probably has about eight different brands out there that you can find it, I'm sure. But <clears throat> HX Outdoors, no idea who the OEM is. But this thing kept coming up on Amazon. And I think it was like $15. And then there it came up one day in a 30% coupon which made it about 12 bucks. I was like, or maybe a little less than that. So I was like, yeah, let's give it a try. So did so. And there's some good and some not so good, okay? So let's take a look at this. Now this knife is a fixed blade, fixed blade Friday here and all. And the knife itself, I kind of like. The sheath, I do not. So let's well, let's take a look at the knife real quick. Uh, you can see it is in 5CR. And so that's basically the equivalent of 420HC, right? So you've got a very much a budget steel on here, which is fine, uh, easy to sharpen. And I did take this outside and have used it a bit, uh, carried around for a couple days. And uh, it actually works pretty well. It came reasonably sharp, um, you know, nothing to complain about there. Pretty, pretty nice in hand. I wish it was a little more, had a little more girth here, or a little rounded, and maybe something to fill the hand just a little bit more. But all in all, uh, it's not bad at all. Okay, uh, let's see what do we got here. Let's get this lined up right here, and we are at one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a little over eight and a half inches with uh, blade length. Let's see if we put it at the top here. Uh, I've got a blade length, three and let's call it seven eighths, and the cutting edge is pretty much the same. Um, you know, not a bad knife at all for 11 bucks, 12 bucks. Just, again, just 5CR, 420HC, but it did work pretty well. Now, the sheath, let's talk about that, okay? So, the sheath, you know, looking at it, doesn't look that bad. It's, you know, just some sort of plastic with a, a dangler attachment that you can remove, okay? And then you've also got this little plate that you can also remove, and a little hard to get in here, but uh, here, let me pull this out. You squeeze down in here, and then you pull this out, and then this comes off. Um, not gonna do it because it's a little pain in the butt to get it back on, just the way it's set up. But you can carry it scout carry. I would not do that. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, first, you know, as, as a dangler, which is my favorite style of sheath, um, it's it's okay. Uh, we'll fit on maybe a little over a one to one and a quarter inch belt. Uh, it does fit on the belt I usually wear, but if you wear a wide belt, it's not going to fit. Um, the problem here, you shake it a little bit and it falls out. There's no good retention. You see you've got this little thing, but there's not really a, an indent in the knife itself, so it slides in and out very easily. It does get, you know, this, uh, if you have this snapped, it will hold it in. But if you're carrying this, if you're carrying this scout carry, um, you know, and you do take this off, well, you, you're walking around, it could just fall out. Or you could leave this on, but even then, it could be out like this. You reach back to grab it, and you accidentally grab the blade. Yeah, no thanks. I'm not doing that. So, definitely for Scout Carry, I would not do this. It's not the greatest sheath in the world. You know, it, it's okay as a dangler. But, quite honestly, if you can get yourself another sheath for this, uh, do that. Um, you can pick up a sheath from BPS. And, hold on, let me see if I've got one real quick quick here uh this is one i use for another knife but we'll show you you know this one it fits in kind of loosely because the knife that i've had in here has has stretched it out um i have a new one uh but it's not in this room right now um and it did fit if it was out like this so these bps sheaths might work these run about 15 bucks and you know if you do that you're into it for about 27 to 30 bucks you know, at that point, maybe you could find a different fixed blade for that amount of money. But if you're willing to put up with this and will 
carry it from the dangler, it will work. You know, I mean, the knife itself, I think, is definitely worth the 11 or 12 bucks. Um, if it just had a better sheath or, you know what they could have done? Just made the handle a little bit wider, put a little deeper indent in there, and it would have stayed so much better. Uh, just one of those little things that could have been done. <clears throat> okay. I will say that it is reversible, so right or left hand carry, you're not a problem. Um, it just, I would be very concerned uh, about that coming out. So I would say, if you're gonna wear it as a dangler, fine. Just be aware that it could jostle out. And then if it gets caught up on here, it doesn't go all the way back in. You have to pull this. So sheath, not my favorite. Knife, not bad. But you know, if you if you have a sheath that you want to use for it, or you're willing to spend, you know, 15 bucks on a BPS sheath, or have one made, you know, or make it yourself. I guess you could do that. Um, but otherwise. You know, just as a basic beater, I suppose you could take this, just, you know, toss it in your pickup or your car uh, in the glove box just to have a fixed blade along. As a beater knife, I think it's fine. Again, sheath not so great, but you decide whether that's a deal killer for you or not. Anyway, you guys have a great day. Hope you had a good Thanksgiving. Have a great weekend coming up. I'll catch you next time.